moving on to the inner connector so what I did here let's isolate it I use the same procedure I used for the lower connector so a glossy component and a diffuse component but then I also wanted to render a bit of this um, transition here that you see in the reference image so it goes from sort of a bluish hue to yellow and then to uh, to blue again a little darker so I had to create this extra network uh, so starting from the beginning we have a simple projection we can see that it's just project it's pretty much a frontal projection tweaked the vertex positions here and there just a little bit and then i added a gradient texture so this what this does the best way to explain it is uh, i actually created a bit of extra geometry yes here a simple plane and uh, I did the same, I projected the UVs so they would fill up the whole UV square. So what's going on here is that we have this gradient texture and by remapping it, if we set this to zero and zero, it goes into the origin of the UV map. If we move it around, so increase the X location and then the Y location, you can sort of project this variation in color. Now, uh, the color variation is actually uh, baked in a bit later in the network. By itself, this is just a variation between black and white. So if we take this and bring it again to the color, let's say here, you see that you don't really see much of a difference. Perhaps it's a bit brighter here and a bit darker here. So if we reset this back to zero, and zero you can actually see how it goes from completely bright to completely black across the whole uv map okay then moving on we have some rgb curve controls this is just to, mm, to tweak the size and here we bake in the color so we can take a different node so you can add a color node and uh, i think it's mix rgb and then you choose difference yeah this one and you put in another color so if i move on the other side of the color wheel you will see an inversion the effect is very nice especially if you choose yellow and blue it's pretty close to uh, to what happens to metal when you when you temper it so uh, you can then choose the factor and then you can increase the saturation to further control so uh, many of these factors control the same thing so uh, decreasing the factor here is pretty much like increasing uh, decreasing saturation here then you you have some extra control on the brightness and then we have our final color that we can drop into the glossy and uh, diffuse components we then mix them together and uh, we have our final material output